Hey folks, it's Don with My Three Fords, and today I'm going to do a unboxing and installation video on this Tuffy Security Products Center Console Safe for the 2022 Ford Bronco, which I own. And just up front, they have paid me nothing except for sending me the product for free. And they asked if I would do those two things, unboxing, installation, and it seems like something I would get for the Ford Bronco since it's, you know, it's one of those vehicles that you have, you know, the tops and doors off a lot or at least frequently. And so you don't have a really secure place in the vehicle if you do that, right? So then a little safe, you'll give you a chance to at least, you know, secure some small items while you're at the beach or whatever else that you're doing when you, when you have the doors and tops off, right? right? So they asked me to do this. And I said yes, because I figured this was a product I would use. The Bronco being, you know, a vehicle that you often might take off the doors and top, so then it, it's left, you know, if you're leaving it that way, you can't really lock it up. So it's good to have something inside the vehicle that locks up. And it comes pretty well packaged. We have our, you know, packaging material. Assembly instructions, log maintenance, and then this is the, I was wondering how this would be set up, and it looks like it's designed to take up as little space as possible in the, in the vehicle, so then you can, you know, not sacrifice any space other than right at the top, so this is what it looks like. And I have just, this is, this being the fact that this is probably the first unboxing video I've ever done, I actually did not want to open it before, so you're seeing everything the, the first time just like I am. Obviously it's locked because it won't, won't open. So I will get into some more of this stuff. I'll put this inside. And... <clears throat> There's more parts to it right here. I suppose this will become also useful if you were a person that does concealed carry. And in the rare case that you might have to leave your firearm in the car or vehicle, you could leave it in the vehicle so it has a couple other has a few other pieces here and i'll lay these out so you can see them all but that pretty much wraps up what's in this box we'll toss that aside and we have this here breakdown right there how it's supposed to go together and, and here's your key and hardware well, of course I just want to open this up even though I'm not gonna you know install this immediately I'm gonna install it pretty quickly but... So it looks like there's still pretty good access into in the uh, in the center console. That was my concern with it, but so far it looks like it's going to be pretty accessible. You're not going to put anything huge in it, but you weren't going to put anything huge in it to begin with. It's a pretty small center console for the Ford Bronco. So. All right, well, I will pick up a little rundown of what's involved with this and then get into the instructions. Okay, folks, so here's the orientation of how it's supposed to be arranged. As you can see, it opens to the rear, so this would be the front of the vehicle that way. I have the Bronco, the front of the vehicle is that way, so I'm trying to do that. And then you have, so the legs are gonna be down, this cutout here goes towards the back, okay? 
and that's so these holes will line up there and then these holes will line up here and those would be the little smaller screws that you have there okay and then these larger ones will go up here that allow these things to go now these look very similar but if you look here this is a longer tab than it is up front you want the short ones up front so one is a they're not the same one's a right one's a left they slide in there like that you can see the holes go here and here and same thing over here okay and then these these will go around and that's basically a friction setting on this so it said over time that may it's going to slide okay it's like that as you see i have the foam in my hand so it's going to be harder to do but it says you might need to tighten that over time as it gives it up so the only issue i had are these little stoppers for the lid okay as it smashes in there it doesn't really smash but i took these off because they go right here and right there but the problem is they interfere with this so i'm going to assemble this or i could just really just put them back in there right now just slid over a little bit and they have some pretty good sticky on them so i'll just actually i'll do that right now so then I don't get any dirt on them because that would be that would be bad. But you may so far that is the only adjustment I see that you might need to make. And then so that goes in and hits the rubber stoppers. Okay, so I've cleaned out all my junk there and cleaned out everything here. And then you're supposed to take out the little bottom, you know, liner. And so the first thing is gonna go back. The first thing that's going to go in there is the, you know, the actual main unit part. And we're going to slide in, I think, the driver first and then the passenger. Okay, folks, so I hope you're getting this. <laughs> so it goes in like this. And then it... So this is a pretty tight fit, so... Okay, so it actually fits in there all the way. So there's no lip that it needs to rest on. It fits like that. And then, probably without the key in there, probably easily closes down. But that's not it, obviously. Now the next thing is going to be the side pieces. The driver side and this is the passenger side right here. Okay. fit the bottom piece in goes like that okay folks so it is what I would call rough installed so that is actually the placement it's going to be so all right folks it's all done the Tuffy console safe is installed and so I have the two screws there, two at the bottom, two at the bottom right there, and then the two at the top there. Now, you may want to install this beforehand, even though it's step eight. I actually took the whole thing out to try to install that first because it's very difficult to get tools in there. You can do it though, and I'll tell you why. Because I had to loosen it up and try to take it off 
and it doesn't really work well because you've got to be able to fold these legs and the leg on this side interferes with it. So that's why they put it on step eight. So if you're thinking like me, hey, it'd be a smart idea to install that part first while it's in there, it's easy access. Then while that's a good idea, its execution is not that good. So you just have to install it once it's in there and line everything up is going to be the most difficult part. Realistically beyond. Well, hey folks, that wraps up this video of the Tuffy console safe for the Ford Bronco. I hope you found this useful. Like I said, it probably only takes about 10 to 15 minutes to install. Uh, maybe a little less if you're really mechanically inclined or maybe a little longer if you're not so mechanically inclined, but pretty straightforward. There's no drilling required, anything like that. So you could take it out and it'd be as if the thing was never installed to begin with if you decide you didn't like it for some reason. But if you're one of those people that likes to take the doors off and tops off, well, this gives you one area where you have a secure location for some valuables like cell phones or wallets or stuff like that while you away from the vehicle and you can't secure them anywhere else because you have the doors and the tops off. So anyways, if you like the video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos about the Bronco or the F-150 or my Ford Flux, you can hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.